Hello everybody! Welcome to one of my videos! Today, I am playing on the Amiga 500. I am playing Slightly Magic. This was released by Codemasters in 1992. It's a great little game. Another one of those games that people don't really tend to talk about. Big Wiz, the wizard, has left the castle in a hurry. In order to turn the king's son, Newton, back into a frog. Indeed, he was in such a hurry that he forgot to pack his spare wand, forgot to lock away his laboratory door, and most importantly, forgot to return his utterly stupid, idiotic, incompetent, brain-dead nephew slightly to his parents. Mud hut in the hills. Anyone who enjoyed the dizzy range of games will get a buzz out of this. It's a great little game. Um, Released by Codemasters. This was actually the game that we bought after we bought uh, Captain Dynamo, which I also did a video for. Um, but yes, I have completed it quite a few times, but I thought I, desi I decided to do it for a video. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. It's a great little game. It's very, very similar to Dizzy. But uh, let's get cracking. Slightly magic for the Amiga. Let's go. Okay, here we are. We're in the Wizard's Laboratory. Controls, left, right, and jump. That is it. Now you can cast spells, but not yet, because you have to find a magic wand and a spell book. So, first of all, we pick up the flea collar. Go to this guy. He's got hiccups. Now what do you do if you've got hiccups? You have a drink. Pick up the bucket of water and take it to him. Stand next to him, press the fire button, and select the bucket of water. There is a great steaming hiss as the young dragon's thirst is quenched. Now you can go past him. Pick up the second bucket of water, and this one we take to this guy, who is thirsty. There we go. Pick up the third bucket of water, and also pick up the megaphone. Now this bucket of water we take to the third dragon, and this is the order you have to do it in. He's thirsty. Luckily for you, I have a bucket of water. Thanks slightly. Oh dear, I think I'm going to... Achoo! He sneezed. Now because he's a dragon, he's left a little bit of fire behind. Don't stand on that, that will kill you, and you only have three lives. Right, next we have to go this way and we have to pick up the magnet. Drop down here and pick up the pile of stones. Pick up the skull. Jump over the spikes and head this way. Now we have this guy, his name is Rocky and he's made of rock and he's hungry. So what do you feed him? How about a pile of stones? He's happy. Now, to say thank you, he provides you with these stars that are now above his head. Now, you can stand on those. That's how you get up the top. But, unfortunately, there is a bubble there. So, we can't progress because we need to pop the bubble. So, you have to go and find a pin. Now, those stars are also here. They weren't there before, but thank you, Rocky, for that. So, we have to jump on these stars, which can be a little bit tricky because you've got to time it perfectly. There we go. Watch out for that flame. The amount of times I've died over the years because I kept forgetting it's there. So through the castle's east wing, each screen has a name. Now here is where we have the pin. Which is just below me. Use the magnet to get the pin. The magnet pulls the pin towards you. Whoopee! Head this way, pick up the fright spell, but we can't use it yet. Now we have to go back down here. And this is where we get the wand. Ah, 
can be a bit tricky. There we go. So, pop the bubble with the pin. Head this way, up the ladder. Collect the wand. The wizard's wand begins to shout that magic powers need spelling out. Now we need to find the spell book. This game is very, very similar to the Dizzy games. Right, head this way. And we have to drop down here. The wand and spell book do combine with magic powers of space and time. But wizard's powers could be tragic if you are only slightly magic. Right, next we have to... Right, we head this way. Whoops. Now as now we have the wand, if you look just above the book, there is a energy bar. Now that wasn't there before, but now it is, because that is your energy. Now you can um, get extra energy. They are stars. Every star you pick up will increase your energy. So obviously if, I, if any enemies hit me, my energy, my energy drains. Right, now we can use magic spells, but you have to get you the correct ingredient first. So we need to frighten off these ghosts. So we have the fright spell, now because I picked up the skull, skull and fright spell activates it. If I didn't have the skull, you can't activate the fright spell. So because I have the skull, it says spell on. So we activate the spell of fright. And you spook the spooks. Now we pick up the hearing spell. Now because I picked up the megaphone, that is the ingredient you need for that spell. So now we have to head this way. Whoops. Nope, do that again, shall we? Basically, those guys are deaf. Luckily for you guys, I have a hearing spell. So, activate the hearing spell. Hello. Hello. I heard it too. Right, now we can progress. Now, these are the stars. And it will tell you down the bottom right corner how many stars we have. Now, if I, any enemies hit me, my health will start to drain. But stars fill it up a little bit, not much. So I'm going to take some hits here. There we go. Right, pick up the flea spell, and because I picked up the flea collar, that is the ingredient you need. So now we head up here. Fee fi fo fum. I smell the blood of a human. Right, we need to get across. So we activate the flea spell. You change into a flea and jump onto the giant's head. He scratches and throws you off across the moat. Right, so this is now the next level.
Right, now the first place we have to go, even though we've just got across, is actually down here. Right. Pick up the watering can. Watch out for the, 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 the worm. Watch out for the worm. Right. Pick up the fish spell. So obviously we need to find something that is similar to fish. The fish ingredient. Way. Right, we have to pick up the scissors. Now I'm going to take some hits here. I don't think it's actually doable, really, without taking hits. Right, use the watering can on the plant. But make sure you pick up the watering can again. Head this way, to the spooky woods! Right, now we have a cat! We need to cut that string with the pair of scissors. And we have a goldfish bowl! So obviously that is the ingredient we need. So now we can activate the spell. Stand here, use the watering can. And then activate the fish spell. Now I'm sure you can see where this is going. We are now a fish. Now when you're a fish, your health slowly drains. So you need to do this level pretty quick. You can pick up stars along the way, but keep an eye on it. Pick up the jelly yummy. So we're nearly halfway gone already in terms of energy. It goes very quick. I mean, they, they don't put, they don't give you much energy, but obviously it's better than nothing. Right, give the jelly to the jellyfish. Thanks, slightly. No problems. No worries. Right down here. We need to pick up the plunger. And obviously that goes with the explosive spell. So head down here. We need to blow these blocks or rocks away. Use the explosive spell. Boom! Fall down and we end up in the clouds. <laughs> right, pick up the invincibility spell. Pick up the dead mouse. Unfortunately, your health does not replenish after that level. Pick up the candle. Pick up the flight spell. Keep away from the witch. That will kill you. Right. Pick up the penny. <laughs> now we have to scare these guys off. We use the candle. The light frightens the elves away. Pick up the feather. Right. We have the flight spell, we have the feather. That activates the flight spell. Now, this will turn you into a bird. But don't use it for too long because again, it drains your health. 
I am now a bird. So we have to head up here. Because up here there is a cook spell. Once you're back to the ground again, activate it and that will return you back to your normal form. Oh, there you go. <laughs> now we have to go into the gingerbread cottage. And we... Go back to the flight spell, I think. We need to go and collect the water pistol. You can't carry anymore, so I need to drop something. Um, I'll put the penny there, so I think I need that. I need that later. Right, pick up the water pistol. Right, we give the water and the water pistol to these guys. There is a great steaming hiss as the young dragon's thirst is quenched. Hello, hello everybody. Pick up the key. Okay. The cook spell is currently off. So we go back to the cottage. And we use the key on the trapdoor. Right, now we have to activate the flight spell and I'll see cats like mice. Meow. And we pick up the vanishing cream. Okay, so we can now use the Vanishing Spell. Sorry, the Invincibility Spell. This is where we have to go, we have to go and find that witch. My health is terrible. It's bad, I lost a life. Right, activate the Invincibility Spell. So obviously the witch can't see me. We pick up the spoonful of sugar. There we go. Turn the invincibility spell off. Right, now we have to... Oh my word. Right, again, activate the flight spell. Right, now we, give, we use the cook spell. The cooking spell changes Hansel and Gretel back into children. They thank you and flee the cottage quickly. Make sure you've got that penny that I the one I dropped earlier. There we go. That is not the end of the level. But what we have to do now... First of all, get that... Star. 
And now we have to drop the penny into the well. And we drop down into the well. Now this is the last level. It's a bit higgledy piggledy, actually. Right, okay. I'll try and remember how to do this. It's a bit all over the place. Right. We pick up this, which is suntan lotion. Uh, suntan lotion we use here. Ah. There we go. Ah, that's better. I don't know what came over me. My hero, but I hope you don't expect my hand in marriage for this. I'm sure Daddy will reward you, th th reward you though. Your magic. And that is the end of the game. <laughs> Not a very long game, but that is the end. <laughs> there we go. My voice actually quite... I'm actually losing my voice a little bit. My throat is killing me a little bit. I've been talking loads today because I've done two videos today. <coughs> Must go make myself another cup of tea. <coughs> but there we go. That was Slightly Magic on the Amiga 500. It's a great little game by Codemasters. Came out in 1992. <coughs> Not a very long game, but it's a great little game. I don't think it does anything else. I don't think there's any credits. The story is over. The tale it is told of slightly the hero you couldn't call bold. Not clever or cunning, nor nasty and vile, but running along with a laugh and a smile. Now, if you are willing, you'll see. We'll see you again. Hick, snort, and razzle, and all of Slightly's friends. But until we meet up, remember it's true. We're all slightly magic here, him, me, and you. There we go, and that is the map. No credits. And there we go, back to the start again. No credits, no initials, no score. But that is the end, that really is the end now. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, please like, please share, please subscribe to my channel. Please click on the bell icon that will notify you of any videos I upload. And please do join in with my streams every Friday night at 9 o'clock is when I do it. Uh, that'd be awesome. Please tune in for that. It's, it's great fun. Uh, and please do check out my fan page. I, the, link, the, the link is in the description and that is on Facebook. That's where it can be found. So if you type in Morgan Just Games, you should find it fairly easily. I hope. But uh, until my next video and my next stream, I'll see you guys. Take it easy. Thanks for watching my video and really, really appreciate everyone's comments, likes and subscriptions. It's awesome keeps me going. It is awesome. See you next time, guys. Peace. See you soon. Ciao, bye.